Fall is officially here, which means spooky season has arrived. Over the weekend, Spooky Woods opened its haunted attraction, and that's where we find WFMY News 2's Hunter Funk live with all the scary details, Hunter. Scary details is right because it is spooky here this morning. Joining us is Sydney Jones, and you are kind of showing us something that's new, which is glowing this morning. So talk us through, how do you make these? What is this? Yes, so we're here in our brand new shop called Endora's Brew, and these are our smoking cyclones. Ooh. So I will make a drink yeah. for you now. Um, so what we do, <clears throat> we take this little thing, and we make some dry ice. Oh, I love it. I feel like it's already <laughs> spooky. Oh yeah, already. <clears throat> And once that is done, that is a cool machine. I feel yeah. like I need to buy one of these. So you have some little dry ice in here. Don't worry, it is edible. Don't worry. And then I already got one in here. Cool. Handy dandy. Um, so we come over here. And this one is drink. blue. Blue venom. Blue venom. Ooh, spooky. Yes. So <gasps> got it all bubbly and smoky and. You get to, then we have a photo op out here. You can take a picture and a cauldron and the Ooh. witch's cauldron it is super cool. These are super popular with kids. We opened yesterday for the maze adventure and uh -huh. um, kids, adults, they're good for anyone. You can, uh, if you're an adult over 21, you can spike this with a shot of uh, some vodka. <laughs> okay, so, so with that being said super too, fun. Yeah. you mentioned, you know, alcohol is brand new <clears throat> this year. Mm -hmm at Spooky Woods. Yes. So kind of talk to me, what is that process to make sure everybody's doing it safely? Yes, so brand new here, we, um, you know, brand new to alcohol, we are gonna scan your ID, make sure you're over 21, of course, and if you are, you get this very lovely wristband that says so. Um, every time you come up here, though, we do have to scan your ID again, just to make sure it's still you, and then um, you can get one of these smoking cyclones again, or you, we have beer. We also have some pre-mixed cocktails. Um, just some super fun, spooky stuff. I think it's cool, and it's a great way to keep people safe because they're scanning, so they know how many mm -hmm. times you're going up there. Mm -hmm. Lastly, real quick, just kind of give me an overview. Mazes are here. Mm -hmm. What can we expect? Right, so we've got the corn maze. It's a super cute little design this year. It's a sloth, oh. and he's like on his little branch. He's so cute and adorable. Um, and so that's our corn maze. We have a bunch of other you know attractions for kids that are available. We have the slide, the jumping pillows, the train ride that goes around the corn maze. Just you know. The Fem, fun family favorites. I'm excited. <laughs> I, I, yeah. As I was coming up, I was like, I feel spooky and yeah. I'm like so ready for the season to kick Yeah, out. of course. And of course, this will be open during Maze Adventure as well. So, you know, super fun time for everybody. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, thank you, Cindy, for yeah. joining us this morning. We are going to be looking at new sets coming up in about 30 minutes. <laughs> Who needs sound effects when you have Lauren Coleman? <laughs> Well, this weekend marked the start of fall. That means it's time for scary attractions to start up, including Kersey Valley Spooky Woods. They kick off their upcoming season this weekend. Hey, we're not laughing when it comes to the actual frights of Spooky Woods at Kersey Valley. Hunter Funk is live with a look at all the fun. Hunter, it's pretty terrifying. <laughs> yeah, if Lauren's sound effects didn't wake you up or your coffee's not doing the trick, we're going to do it for you this morning. I just, just spit everywhere, so I'm sorry <laughs> about that. Okay, joining us this morning is Dustin. You are talking all things new sets, so let's kick it off. What is brand new this year? Absolutely. So first of all, this has been the biggest investment into Kersey Valley that we've ever had. So this year we've actually built four new sets on a completely other side of our haunt, and we've added this new area that you can see here called Icons. And this is a four acre expansion to our attraction where you're actually going to have the opportunity to see some of your favorite characters that you see on the big screen. Um, so, you know, you're going to be going through some barns, some bathhouses, maybe down to a dock where some people face off a little bit. It's definitely going to be a surprise for all of our fans. We're going to be putting some of the big screen characters back in the show for the first time in 15 years out here. It's amazing what we've been able to accomplish. Well, and when we walked through, we got to see a, a little bit of those attractions. It's incredible. And with so many acres that you guys are taking care of staffing how are you combating that so we actually started back in february hiring people um it's one of those things that it's amazing you think people are applying for haunted houses <laughs> out in february um so we started doing these hiring events we do them every single month uh, we do these open interviews and it's a conversation we ask people like have you been to a haunted house before no or yes like what is it that you enjoyed about the haunted house and you know what would you want to do and it's funny because so many people are like i don't go to them they're too scary 
And they're just like, but I want to be on the other side of things. <laughs> I want to scare people. Yeah. So we have 180 actors on staff this season, which is the largest staff that we've ever had. Um, and I'm still hiring. Like, I will hire until the weekend that we close. Like, that's just how it works because we want to fill the attraction up with such a large space. It's one of those things that we love to have people here in part of our steam. So we have 180 actors and then we have over 70 people on the frontline staff as well. That is just incredible. I, I cannot believe it. Lastly, I want you to talk private prices really quick. What can we expect? There's some BOGO days mm -hmm. too. Absolutely. So for our military, we definitely want to take care of our military and thank them for coming out. So military is BOGO across the whole entire property. So any type of attraction that we do at Spy One, get one free. And then Spooky Woods tickets, you can get Spooky Woods depending on the night that it is for as low as $25 because we want your whole family to come out here, oh. have fun and be scared throughout the whole season with us. Well, we appreciate you scaring us a little bit this morning, but not with those prices. That was pretty decent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I are you awake? Did that scare you at all? Maybe we'll have to do a little bit more jump scares at the next one. <laughs> I think I might audition for one of those actor roles. You know Ooh, what? <laughs> Lauren, you did pretty good. <laughs> People applying back in February, maybe it yeah. was like a scary Valentine's Day that made them want to do uh -huh. the haunted yeah. house. You're onto yeah. something. Hunter, there is this orange glow behind you in the woods. It's kind of freaking us out a little bit. What is Ooh. that? Maybe you can ask, <laughs> you can ask him. Yeah. The orange glow, they want to know what is that? It, it's a bathhouse. I can't tell you where it's from because oh. you got to come and figure it out. But let me tell you, you're, you're going to have a chance to go down there and meet the mother of a very special boy Interesting. Um, that's going to want to have to spend some time with you. Listen, if I <laughs> see some glowing excited. eyes pop up, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> me too. All right, fun. Uh, we'll check in with you a little later, Hunter. You don't want to be surprised by the weather, but you might want to be surprised by this fun over at Spooky Woods. It's open, it's haunted attraction, and that's where we find WF Money's Juice Hunter Funk. Hunter, what is that sound? <laughs> I'm laughing because it's catching me off guard every time, Ben. And you can hear the babies starting to cry. Don't worry, it's, it's, it's totally cool. Okay, <laughs> joining us is Olivia. She is the art director, so she is in charge of this whole production. Talk to me about kind of the aesthetic. What do you work on to make this so spooky? So I was talking to you earlier about how we don't start the day after we close a season. We actually start way before that like we're a year ahead of ourselves right now so we know exactly what we're going to do next season and go from there next year is our 40th season so we play we, we plan to make it really big and it's already super big right now um you have been working with the minor stuff we listen to music we hear things we see things talk to me about what goes into that so um, not only do I go in and paint sets and create the costumes and do all that shenanigans, um, we also have a lighting crew here and a build crew which work all the time just to make this stuff happen. So the other thing too that you know you kind of add to things every year, it's new. So I guess what was probably one of your most exciting things that you got to do this year? Oh, it was the costumes definitely. We revamped our costumes a lot. Um, when we went to the show, um, we chose a lot of specific costumes for our new theme, um, but we also made a lot of costumes. So um, those take, on average, about a month to make. So people can actually log online and see what kind of characters we have and our iconic characters as well. And they are very good. Do you see these <laughs> right now? They are terrifying. I am not well. I will say we've gotten a little bit of sneak peeks throughout the whole entire area, and you're going to be scared this year. Definitely. Well, everything really kickstarts this Saturday because it got washed out last Saturday, but the mazes are open. You are set to start enjoying some of the scares. So stay tuned. We're going to put all this on our website, WFNYNews2.com.